Yeah, I mean, I thought, I don't know. I didn't. I, I noticed their logo, but I didn't care about it that much. It was just like, okay, this is just a tool I use. And I've seen, like, a lot of these uh, web-based internet companies or whatever, they have logos like that where they don't really have to think about how it's going to be used as much because it's like, are we even going to be around? Welcome back to the IC Pixels podcast. This is Anthony. This is David. Um, <laughs> I had a thought for something impactful to say right then, and then I just it fell out of my head. Impact. Um, impact. And Collaboration. Thought. Connectivity. So, <laughs> so I, well, I was just telling you, I was just talking to you about, before we started recording, about the Fire Festival thing. Um, that's a topic we can come through it's really interesting from a marketing standpoint so maybe an interesting topic we'll talk about here in, in the future or give our take on it also coming up soon is the uh one of our a repeat of one of our early episodes when we talked about presidential candidates so that's coming back around it's kind of weird that we've been doing it that long yeah um that we can talk about that again and hopefully with different results yeah i mean i saw <laughs> I've looked at some of the logos for the people who are running and there's a few that I think are okay, but I think it'll be interesting to see how people kind of use their branding to kind of signal, signal, uh, where they stand on different issues. Yeah. And things like that. They're trying to target. Yeah. Like, Hey, I'm, I'm friendly to, uh, immigrants or I'm friendly to the, you know, whoever. Yeah. Any early front runners? <laughs> Branding um, front runners. Let me see, because I was looking at it earlier. There was one. There's a lot of trash logos, like for some of these, like libertarian candidates or whatever, where they don't. Oh yeah, I don't have it, to spend I as mean, much money. No offense to lib- libertarians, but I don't look to them for branding uh, innovation. But there's uh, a. <laughs> so Kamala Harris, her logo is lame. Just... Yeah, I don't like the color combination. It's like brown, and I don't know what she's going on with there. Well, it's like they I get it. Saw... You're brown. It's like the same. It's like the same color as her skin color, which is weird. <laughs> well, the one I saw, her, her website doesn't look that great either. But the one I saw, it was just like it just says Kamala Harris for the people, and it's just like blue and orangeish. It's not like the regular blue, and then or the regular red. It's like kind of a washed out look, but it's just not that great. So maybe she'll change it up. We'll see. Yeah. And then I thought uh, Tulsi Gabbard. I never heard of her before. Who is that? I don't know. Uh, but Tulsi? T U L S I Gabbard. G A B B A R D. I thought her logo didn't look bad. It's kind of, it reminds me, it looks like a, the logo for like a TV company or something like that, like ABC. Tulsi Jerbo? <laughs> no. G A B B A R D. G A. It's Tulsi Gabbard. I've never heard of her. Oh, she's like from Hawaii or something like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, I'd never heard of her. Okay, yeah, I did see that she was running. I have, I have no idea who she is. But I thought her but, logo looked didn't look bad. But these are all, uh, I guess, Democratic candidates, from what I could tell. Because, well, I guess the Republicans you're not supposed to run against the president. <laughs> That should be interesting. We'll see what happens with that, but that yeah. should be interesting. I, I wouldn't imagine <laughs> that there are some people that want to differentiate themselves from the amazing that is what's going on right now. So we'll see. Yeah. Well, I think my, for me, the front runner with the branding, I mean, and he, you know, he worked for Obama. So it looks like he took some notes where the, um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Got his name. <laughs> Something Castro, Julian Ca- Julian Castro. Uh, so I'm looking on. I looked at this up on Wikipedia, and I don't even see. Oh, Julian Castro. Oh, yeah, this is cool. It's nothing. It, it's just Julian. <laughs> well, no, I mean he's got some. Uh, 
He's got some uh, stuff that looks you know, Obama inspired, definitely. Some of his uh, posters and stuff like that. He's got like silhouette action, you mm-hmm. know, three color, you know, that Obama famous Obama poster. Yeah. He's got stuff like that, and it's like an obvious, like, oh, okay, I see what you're doing. Oh, okay. You sample, you definitely sampled Obama. So well, his website's <laughs> not coming up for me, minute. but yeah, on, on Wikipedia they have one of his logos, and it's just it just says Julian. I don't think it's bad. Um, but yeah, I think it'll be interesting to see what they come up with cuz I I do see like well at least well I guess it's only really oh there's candidates from other parties but I, it's good to see that there's more diversity. I don't know the quality of these people. I don't know anything about them for the most part. We only care about their branding. That's going to determine who we vote for. Yeah, but like yeah, if I had to vote versus vote based, based on branding, unfortunately Trump would not win again. Or yeah, Trump would not win. <laughs> Solely based on branding. <laughs> You don't like the rhyming build the wall crime phone? You don't think that'll No. <laughs> oh, okay. I just sent you his poster, by the way. Okay, yeah. But um Yeah, that's an interesting looking poster. It I mean I see what he's going with with the with the silhouette, but it's kind of like a that's a random, you know. Yeah, that's <laughs> so weird. that could be anybody. Like what kind of what what why'd you choose that picture to turn into a silhouette? But I don't know. Yeah. But anyway, we'll we'll keep you updated. Our weekly uh, <laughs> check in for our uh, who's who sucks at branding segment. So, were you <laughs> affected by the whole government shutdown thing? Uh, I was irritated, but like not like affected. Affected. Yeah, I wasn't really affected either. Even though I kind of indirectly work for the government, but um, oh, I was wondering about that. I didn't call and ask about it, but I did did cross my mind. I was like, oh, huh, I wonder if David. I don't know. <laughs> I was, I was waiting for that call. Like, hey, do uh, you need any money? Need help paying your mortgage and your groceries or whatever? But didn't come. So I could have called. I wouldn't have offered help, but I could have called, I guess. That would have helped. I feel like you, you just don't care. <laughs> like, do you need help with this? Oh, okay. All right. Just wanted to know. I thought you would. <laughs> All right, That's go. what I figured. <laughs> bye. Cool, 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 cool. All right, bye. <laughs> but I, I, I will say that... Um, well, there's a, a few clients that have been like putting off paying me, like, "Yo, I'm, I can't afford to pay you right now. I'll let you know when I'm good." I bet they don't even they don't even work for the government. Some of them, I'm not even sure, because there's at least one in that's <laughs> said like, "I'm broke right now, I can't pay you," and I'm like, "But you don't work." Oh, I should have been using that. You don't even work now for the government. Like, I should have been using. I should have been using that for bills. <laughs> oh, it's like you know the shutdown. I I bet there's people out there using that right now <laughs> yeah i mean well i know up here there was a lot of uh businesses and stuff like that that were offering like free food and all kind of incentives for like the mall was offering like they would give you like a 20 dollar gift card for federal employees or something like that they were offering a lot of stuff for federal employees um but of course you have to prove it so oh uh, well. just have a, a badge or something so yeah yeah, well, see, somebody that was quick got in on that and started making fake badges. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all kinds of business wow. ideas. But I, I will say, uh, yeah, so some people have held off. Like, I'm waiting on people to pay me for stuff because the government wasn't paying them. And then I have some people Alleged, that, Allegedly, the government was Yeah, I, I, I don't, I'm not going to question <laughs> people. Like, if that's what you, if that's what you want to go with, that's what you want to go with. But there's... um. I will say that I have gotten hit up by some people too because it's like they had a lot of free time and they're like, oh yeah, <laughs> remember that business I was trying to start? Let me work on that. So, oh yeah, um, I mean that will will in, nothing like getting fired or laid off or something like that to inspire you yeah. to you know work for yourself. That'll, that will definitely <laughs> inspire the entrepreneurial spirit. But other than that, honestly, I wasn't very much affected. It, it is annoying, and uh, well, the cool thing was like traffic was very minimal last week i went to a meeting in dc and like there was basically no traffic so i was like oh this is great (laughs) so he got he won you on board yep so with with the traffic uh it seems like the wall will help with that problem (laughs) (laughs) oh my goodness well one thing we were thinking about um some branding related uh snap i mean snapchat um do people still use that slack slacker <laughs> i keep wanting to say snapchat slacker uh 
um, changed their logo recently. Um, what are your, your thoughts? They have a whole article with their thoughts on it. We could go through over that or we can just ignore it and just give our thoughts on it. <laughs> I have not read the article, so I can't go over it, but I did. Um, Perfect. I can like, so I think I like the new logo. Um, I never thought the bad old one was that bad per se, but um, I remember when you sent me the article about it and they were pointing out some of the problems they had with it in terms of it had a lot of colors in it and it didn't translate well on different backgrounds and things like that. And a lot of that I didn't really think about. Um, I think that's those those things are important considerations, but I think it really depends on what you're doing, because like for a company like Slack. A lot of their stuff is on the Internet. And so you like it is Slack. Did I say Slacker? Yeah, you did say Slacker. So I was curious okay. why you were saying that, but whatever. I don't know. But um, same reason I said Snapchat. <laughs> but uh, like, I think for a lot of the thing, like a lot of logos these days are mainly used on the internet. So some of those issues you may have with reproducing the logo on different backgrounds and things like that may not even be as big of a concern as they would have been back in the day when you know your logo has to show up on printed business cards and printed uh, collateral and stuff like that. I think a lot of those may not even be mm. big as big issues anymore. Um, but I completely understood what they were talking about. Cause so in the article that I looked at, they were saying like, it just made it hard to reproduce the logo because of the amount of colors and it didn't translate to black and white because basically uh, if you've never seen their logo, you should probably look it up. So, you know what we're talking about, but it was basically like a hashtag, it's a hashtag but it had at a certain um, angle. It was like overlaid different colors. So each line in the hashtag was a different color and then the overlaying of the two different colors created a different color so it was like I forgot what they said like 50 different colors in the logo and it was very a lot, lot a whole lot going on mm. but I, I mean I don't know I never really paid much attention to their logo I thought meh, I didn't really pay that much attention to it honestly I use Slack basically every day for work but I never really paid that much attention to their logo I mean, I, I mean, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't know when they would need to use their logo in print, like on a t-shirt or something. I mean, I guess it could happen or something like that. Um, I mean, I, I read the article. I understand what they were going for. Um, I mean, it is something I think about when I see lo- like, you know, certain trends and logos, it's kind of like, is that going to work? Yeah. You know, term. one day, you know, like, you know, are you going to have to change that when different, you know, the new, you know, 3D internet comes out or something like that? And, you know, <laughs> it's like still going to work there, mm-hmm. you know? And I, 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 just something I think about in, in some ways, maybe I'm being, wow, I was about to say I'm being old school. Well, are we that old? Uh, yes. I was looking at the ages of the presidential candidates and uh, saw a couple of them that were my age. So, anyway. <laughs> okay, I did get older this week, so yeah. Um, I mean, well, last week I did get older, so yeah, we are that old. Wow. So I was, I was thinking maybe I'm a little old school. Mm-hmm. <laughs> back when, back when logos were flat, two color, you drew them with your hand and a rock. <laughs> um, <laughs> back when, uh, hey, I don't know. Um, there was two fonts. Just kidding. Um. But I mean, I don't know. I'm always hesitant to start getting into all the whole transparency action, the overlays and the, you know, I just, it's cool. But I mean, I, I like doing stuff like that for design elements. It's fine to evolve your design elements, but I really just feel like a logo, you need to make that logo be, you it's know, gotta work. that thing needs yeah. to last, you know? Yeah. I mean, I thought, I don't know. I didn't, I, I noticed their logo, but I didn't care about it that much. It was just like, okay, this is just a tool I use. And I've seen like, a lot of these uh, web-based internet companies or whatever, they have logos like that where they don't really have to think about how it's going to be used as much because it's like, are we even going to be around? Maybe, maybe that's the thing, you know? <laughs> like, doesn't matter what we make, we, we won't exist in a couple of years, so... But, yeah, like, if you look up their logo, the old one, it just... I would say... I didn't think it was terrible, but it just didn't translate well when you flatten it out to black and white or something like that. Because, like, on a lot of sites I build, I may need to put, like, a social media icon. So, like, you know, like, Facebook's icon translates well in almost any color. It's just a white F. But, like, the Slack logo, when you turn that to black and white, it just becomes a hashtag that's tilted. And it, for me, 
I wouldn't necessarily realize, mm. oh, that's slack because what made me realize it was slack was the colors. It wasn't just the symbol, you know? Yeah, they do. I mean, and they have multiple variations of that logo too. Like the little icon for it on your computer is like different. It's not that well, hashtag. It's the letter thing. S with the colors mm. around it. But yeah. like, if you took the colors I out saw... of it, it would just be yeah. an S and a square. And I'm like, okay, I don't know what that is. I might not realize that's Slack. So I think th- that's one, I wouldn't say it's a drawback, but that's one weakness of that logo was like that it was color dependent. Because I think if I saw their logo anywhere without the colors, I, if it didn't have the word Slack next to it, I might not know what it was. Well, to be fair, their new logo could be anything. Well, their new logo, <laughs> I was going to say their new logo looks like a flower to me. Yeah, it doesn't look... Uh, I don't know. Some people are just like a, like a water fountain or like ducks or one of those pinwheels <laughs> that you blow. Yeah, I, I don't know. I saw. I mean, I saw something. They were saying like, oh, well, you can use it like this in different areas and use it for this. And then I was like, yeah, that's true. You can break up the elements. I saw the mm-hmm. idea behind it and some of the concepts the company had put together. They were kind of cool. I mean, it's. I would say it's okay. It doesn't communicate anything. I did see where somebody made like a version of the old logo, but they found a way to make it mm-hmm. work, you know, without changing the the look of it and the tilt of it. It, it looks similar, but they found a way to break up the colors and I, I wish I could find it, but um, a way to make it work without having to mm-hmm. change it completely. Well, so the thing to me oh. is like the Slack brand, it doesn't tell me anything. If I saw the old logo or I saw the new logo, I have no idea what this is at all. Because it doesn't tell me. Yeah. And so... No, it doesn't. And so it's like, all right, so why should I even worry about it? Like, the new one doesn't say anything. It It is more, it does look more like a flower, so I might come up with some ideas of that, but the old one didn't tell me anything. So I just have to, either I know or I don't. That's true. I mean, I don't know when they when they started or i mean i guess they may i mean they they may be at a position now where it doesn't matter i mean they don't like they don't have to explain what they what right. they do anymore i don't I know think people I that know them, know at some point i don't know if it's true so maybe i should do my research but i heard like microsoft was looking to buy them and stuff like that N- but no don't do that um don't don't do the research no, definitely me. not but um <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I think that that's that's interesting, and I think that applies to a lot of things these days. Well, a lot of. I just sent you two examples. Yeah, by I, the way. I saw that that second one I saw on the print pentagram site, but I I hadn't seen that first one. But what I was gonna say is like, yeah, for a lot of things these days, it's just you can name your company whatever you want. It doesn't matter. Your logo can be whatever you want. It doesn't matter. You just brand yourself strongly, and then people will just accept that oh slack is for this and that that pinwheel flower looking thing that's their logo and we just accept that that's what it is but we it doesn't have to make sense to us yeah no which is fine well with with their logo i've noticed some people had some interesting uh ideas of what (laughs) what the logo means but (laughs) i just sent you one (laughs) but uh i don't know that's that's not real information. Sorry. Anyway, <laughs> and one one thing I would say. I mean, I um, I well, I, I looked at the the company that did mm-hmm. their logo for them. I was looking over some of their stuff and just you know looking at their you know stuff they design people for people and stuff. And uh, I had the thought. It's like, wow, we should really uh, get it together. <laughs> yep. We could be doing what they're doing right now. Yep. Um, but yeah, that's that was my own, you know. Yeah, that's an interesting uh, interpretation of the logo. I think that's the uh, so the person basically said it looked kind of like a swastika, and I could see that. I don't think any designer has not accidentally designed a swastika. So I think anytime you're dealing with you, uh, you that de- general shape, it's kind of hard not to be like. Oh, Swastika wasn't all that bad. Like, it's not a. It's from a design perspective, it wasn't <laughs> <Just> terrible. <solid. laughs> 
I mean, and to be fair, it's not like they invented it. They did not create mm. that logo, so so they didn't they didn't invent that symbol that mm. came from somewhere else. But yeah, yeah. I mean, I, it's been multiple times where I've been like, oh, how did I do that again? You know, it's like, oh, this is looking pretty good. Oh, <laughs> no, wait, it's not. No. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think it's like because no. I'm sure you've seen those things where they like have uh have like the top five most unfortunate logos where the logos are either like some weird phallic symbol or some other bad thing that you don't want on your logo. So I think this is another because uh, yeah, you can definitely see a way this could, <laughs> this could be a swastika or something else that's inappropriate to, that you probably don't want in your logo. So I think it's always a good idea to. Like you're saying, like you design something, you think it's amazing, and then you show it to somebody, like you know, yo, that's a swastika. <laughs> so I think it's good to get somebody to look at your stuff yeah. before you just get all hype on it. And the and the problem with that is once you see it, yep. you can't unsee it. <laughs> it's like nope, that that's yeah, what exactly. it is. I, I yeah, it, I've Which, definitely had some ideas I thought were great, and I was like, crap. Once I saw the problem, I was like, crap. I can't. I can never use this. But I thought it was cool, but I can never use it. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So, um, but okay. So to the good, I do think uh, the logo obviously works in in multiple configurations and all that type of stuff. So uh, they solved the major, in terms of the problems that they addressed in in the articles, in terms of what the obvious problems with the old Slack logo. I think they addressed them. Yeah, they addressed them. Uh, I mean, it can be argued if they actually mm. made it better or not, but I think they did it. Well, it, it will them, translate on um, in a way that most colors, which is a step in the right direction. I think yeah. uh, if I saw this on a like a, a in a white format, like just white on a white on a black background or something like that, without the word Slack next to it, I probably wouldn't know what it was. Mm-hmm. And I would also think, may, did that come from a logo designer? Like a not a, a real logo designer, but like one of those it, logo generator things. That's my main problem with it is that it doesn't, it doesn't feel, feel unique. Yeah, it feels like shapes are put together, and that's no offense to Kevin who designed a logo, but I don't know no Kevin. Um, I I don't. Yeah, it doesn't feel like he did any like real. Yeah. You know, <laughs> it looks like shapes. I mean, and a lot of times, you know, with, I mean, we, we, I'm sure we both learned this, you know, you make a logo, then use a font. Like, honestly, you should modify the font so that mm-hmm. it is unique. You should find a way to not, you know, that this isn't so easy to recreate. Yeah. I mean, well, I know, like I've looked at like some of those stock logo sites and stuff like that, and you will see things that are similar to this where it's just like a geometric yeah. shape words next to it yeah give me 75 dollars yeah. for this or like if you use like that Wix yeah. logo generator or something like that i'm not saying it'll come out it may not be as good but I, I do feel like i've seen something similar to this maybe not with like the little raindrop parts but i've definitely seen like the pinwheel joint with different colors or some some variation of that yeah, it it definitely feels like oh I picked some shapes and put them together kind of, you know I mean and yeah, to be fair like Microsoft logo yeah yeah Microsoft logo is very simple it's very simple but also it's Windows so it's like I get yeah. it it's like okay do you I get it well they kind of start I'll, I'll allow a lot it. of people into that uh, material design look where everything is just kind of flat um. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't I'm not like a big fan of the logo, but it's not terrible. Yeah, so like the, the the four squares. No, it, it doesn't bother me at all, honestly, because it's yeah. I mean, it's Windows. I mean, and it looks like a window. It's I mean, that's it's just simplified it's version. It's better than it like when they had the old logo with like their older Windows logos. The swirling, flying yeah, window. Swirling yeah. Free. Yeah. I mean, there's probably a way they could have made it better, but either way. Yeah, but overall, I mean, I don't. I'm not trying to hate on their logo. I think it's better than it was, but I don't think it's recognizable to me. Like Windows logo, the, the slanted window. If I see that somewhere, I know exactly what it is. But this thing, if I don't see, if I don't have the text next to it, I'm like, well, what is that? 
But I think yeah. part of that may just be because I don't have they don't have that strong brand recognition at all, or they definitely not with that logo yet. Maybe if I see it a lot, then it'll start to be a thing. But right now, I'm like, okay, yeah. geometric shape. Not sure what this is. Let me click and find out. Mm-hmm. So I have a question: Has the Instagram logo grown on you no. yet? But I mean, it <laughs> translates. It works. Yeah, I, I feel like it, it has. I can't say I like it, but it's like I've, you know, it's like I've made my peace with it. It's it is what it is. It, it's not like I could do anything about but it think, anyway. Uh, but <laughs> it's like all right. Yeah. Well, I think that's the other thing, like that, like with Windows and stuff like that. Some of these major companies, they're just so yeah. big that it doesn't matter. They can have a bad logo and they'll just force it on you, and eventually you're just gonna accept. Okay, yeah. that's the logo. And you, you're not going to not use their yeah, product yeah, just no, because their logo is I mean, is that's terrible. absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'll use their product to complain about their logo. But. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because the Windows logo, not. I don't have any better ideas. Yeah. Let me start with that. <laughs> Secondly, it's not amazing. But. Absolutely. What are you going to do about it? <laughs> absolutely. I mean, well, when they take care of it. Same with Slack. Like. I have to use it at work and I didn't I didn't realize their logo changed because I was using their application at work and then I noticed some people's uh like avatars look different and I was like oh what what wait the whole UI is different because it was just a minor change where they introduced the new logo I didn't really notice it that much I just went about my work and then I saw then you sent me the article and I was like oh <laughs> they changed their logo but um yeah I mean, it's one of those things where I think at some point when your brand is big enough you you don't have to have a good logo anymore. Yeah. I mean, I mean, back to the, like we were talking about with the presidential candidates, look who won. Well, I mean, I think we are the only people that were going to vote solely on logo, um, design, but true to each their own, you know, <laughs> true. I think it's the, I still think it says a lot about you, <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know. So, it's almost the end of uh, January. Have you? <laughs> how have how have you failed on your <laughs> my New Year's resolution? <laughs> I don't have any. So I haven't failed yet. Oh, <laughs> where's that uh, gif of that guy tapping his head? <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm doing. I'm kind of doing all right. Um, there are things that I mean. One thing I was saying was like, all right, we're well, gonna paint thirty minutes every day. That hasn't ha- really happened. But um, as far as like painting, you know, finishing a painting, uh, you know, at least one painting a month, I think I'm on track to do that. No, it's only January. <laughs> <laughs> I'm well on my way. Well, I mean, I started a new painting. I don't know exactly when I started. Not at the beginning of the month, but I did start one, and I do think I can finish it. If I finish it this week, it'll be before the end of the month, and I can think I can mm. do that. So, I mean, that'll be, you know, that's a plus. I mean... I mean, other things, you know, it was, you know, having a, you know, working on my morning routine. I've kind of done that a little bit this year. Kind of, I mean, I had big plans and then things got a little weird, but we talked about in the last one, but, um, it's, I don't know. I mean, I, I think I'm on top of a lot of things. I mean, I've been working on ways of doing lists and planning. I mean, we did some plan and, you know, a little further out planning, put some things on the calendar for the summer, things like that. So, I mean, I'm going doing all right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't know. Um, I mean, I'm still keeping up with the fitness schedule thing I did. Um, I gotta do a, you know, update of, you know, review of where I, where I have progressed next week. But, um, cause once a month I'm going to change it up or, you know, increase some things or, you know, just take a, you know, the snapshot of where I am. So, but, um, I don't know. Some, I don't say I'm doing pretty, I'm pretty, pretty good on it. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I didn't make any new, 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 new year's resolutions, but I've been trying to continue on stuff that I was doing last year. And so far it's been okay. But I mean, just like anything over time, you, you can fall off and get distracted or other things come up, but I've definitely, I know we definitely talked about like trying to finish up things. And so, um, so when last time you came up here, I was like, yeah, we were trying to we were trying to finish up a room in my basement. And I remember telling you about it. And I remember last year this time I was trying to 
get someone in here to take care of it, like to do drywall and stuff like that. But we finally got carpet down in our basement. And so now we're working on doing some painting and fixing some drywall issues. So, um, yeah, so I'm trying to get that stuff done since I said I was going to do it. The challenge is, I think, it's just like when you have so many other things going on in terms of work and side projects and side hustles and kids and all of that other stuff, it's easy to just like come home and be like, I'm tired. I just want to st go to sleep or I just want to sit here and watch Netflix or whatever for a while. So it's just been an, uh, I don't know. I, I I think I need to make sure I stay motivated and continue on because I'm trying to like, I'm supposed to be going out of town next weekend. So I'm trying to work on like the certain things I've set a goal to say, I want to finish this before I leave. So mm -hmm. we'll see what happens. But I think the important thing is like being accountable. And like, if you have those, like we talked about, like, times when you go back and evaluate or someone you can talk to who can say what well, but you said you were going to do this i think that's helpful yeah i mean i think with anything especially yeah find something to be help you be accountable um because they can push you when you need your pushing and you can push them when they need pushing push it real good like a baby hmm? so anyway <laughs> on that note the thing that happened to me uh the other thing i remember mentioning was like trying to stay on top of things in terms of tasks for customers and invoicing people on time and stuff like that and i've already failed at that <laughs> there's somebody that i emailed them january 11 and so yeah and i told in my email to them i said yeah i'll send you the invoice this weekend it's now january 27 mm -hmm. and i just sent them the invoice with you know a little oh sorry for the delay <laughs> so um <laughs> i need to do better with that because it's like i don't know i don't know why i do it because it doesn't even make sense i'm like just leaving money sitting around so i i i had yeah. said i think i planned to do it last weekend but something came up and i got distracted but i took care of it and so yeah i did the right thing finally. i that reminds me that's one thing I said I was going to do is actually try to drum up some you know work once a month and I haven't done that I have somebody that had reached out at some point and I need to hit them with the hey big head email uh, that's what you want to send yeah um, no I mean I just need to make I need to make sure I'm making an effort and that's one thing that's really important to make sure I'm making an effort to you know <laughs> get get things popping again because i mean i had for a little while there i mean i, I mean for, not for a little while for a while there i had some consistent you know returning people and i kind of let it mm. die so i need to work on that so <laughs> yeah that's definitely something that it's easy to let it go when you have other streams of income but i'm trying to stay on top of it and at least follow up with these people because some of them actually need stuff and they're willing to pay and they're they're kind of just waiting on me and i'm like yeah. all right let me let me follow up yeah you never know. Maybe somebody might decide to shut down your job for a while. Yeah. So, so. when the shutdown started, uh, I wasn't impacted because of the nature of where I work. But the um, I thought about it. Like, what would I have done if I hadn't gotten paid for basically a month? And I the way my bank account worked. No, but um, <laughs> unfortunately because of like not following up with people all the time and because I haven't I haven't like been trying to jump new business as much as I have in the past there I might have I wouldn't have been on the street or nothing like that but I would have had to as soon as the shutdown started I would have had to immediately go out and start drumming up trying to get business which is like kind of the hardest time to do it because everyone's like I don't have a job anymore some of my customers would be in this oh, situation. Oh, yeah, especially so, where you live. So yeah. um, it might have been more difficult. So it's like, I need to be consistent with this, whether the government shut down or not. Like, you got to do what you need yeah. to be doing when 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 the sun is out so that when it rains, you're good. So, yeah. Mama need a house, baby need some shoes. What you going to do? Hustle, hustle, hustle. Yeah. I haven't heard. I thought he was coming out Art. with some new music at some point, but I haven't heard any of his music recently. He, 
he last album I heard from him or at least I thought it was gonna be a good like gym workout album because he's always in but the gym wasn't. but it wasn't <laughs> okay so I had tweeted about it and everything like all right bet I'm going to the gym and I was like oh well I mean some songs but not other ones <laughs> it's just like oh huh. <laughs> but yep. oh well all right well that's it for our podcast for this week um. We'll be back at some point in time soon. We so <clears throat> the plan is to be more consistent. Uh, that's been the plan for a long time, but it just hasn't happened. <laughs> start doing something new this year. Being consistent. I'm gonna start doing something new this month, next month, beginning of February. <laughs> Not progressing, <laughs> but we'll see. Um. Thanks for tuning in. Definitely follow us on Instagram at Alien Muffin. I plan to post something on there later today because I went to an interesting art museum and I was going to post a picture from there. So go check us out on Instagram. Oh, I I tried to go to an interesting art museum, but you had to get in line at like 4 or 5 a.m. in order to get a ticket, to stand in line to get a ticket when it's a ticket school on sale at 9, so I didn't what? do that. You're trying to cop some Jordans? Huh? <laughs> I might as well been yeah no it's like the thing they have like this show they have down here but yeah it's like crazy and it's like I, <laughs> it was cold nah, I'm not just, doing that I'm so, sure someone took pictures I once again I missed out on a once in a lifetime <laughs> experience oh well <laughs> well and maybe not once in a lifetime but I don't know it would have been cool to see it and uh, oh well uh, yeah <laughs> You watch Terror Warning? No, yet? That, that's. I have a lot of stuff on my list. The yeah, Killer Mike thing. I, I got a lot of stuff on my list to watch. But I you, just haven't. You should watch that. It's interesting. There's some interesting branding stuff in there. So. All right. We'll, yep. we'll yeah, talk about that. Future episode that will come out on time. Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in. We'll catch you next time.